We begin tonight with concern in Southbridge after troubling comments are found in a report about special education. The comments were made by teachers. They were anonymous and in some instances contained racist remarks. Our Olivia Lemon joins us now with the latest. Olivia. Brittany, word of the remarks came out earlier this week at a joint town and school committee meeting. Today, different groups were in the schools talking to students about being inclusive and how the comments made do not reflect how the town feels about them. I can tell you it was the first time in, in my um, tenure as a public official and that um, I spoke out of place, I yelled. Esteban Carrasco says he was shocked to see racist comments in a special education report for the Southbridge Public School System. Carrasco is the chairman of the town's council. He says the report was requested to be done by the new superintendent to identify what was working well and ways to better serve students. This past Tuesday night, um, for sake of transparency, um, um, the superintendent reached out to me and said, I want to hold a joint meeting because um, I want the town council to also know with the school committee what the findings are of this report. The comments in the 53 page report are from special education teachers, but they are anonymous, so there is no way to identify who wrote them. One comment reads, all the Puerto Rican families end up living together because they cannot afford their own housing and then they end up inbreeding. Being Puerto Rican, and being classified by a comment um, really was disheartening and, and, and it just, it really bothered me. In a statement, Superintendent Jessica Hazenga says, I am deeply disturbed by the comments. They stand in direct opposition to the values of Southbridge Public Schools, what we stand for, and our belief about the children in our schools. Those comments do not reflect what this town is about, what we want to do. Now, the school and town plan on having different meetings and focus groups over the next few weeks to discuss these issues. There is a public meeting scheduled for January 31st at 630 at the old Southbridge High School. Brittany. Olivia, thank you for